English one-on-one, -on -one, where we will be providing you with pertinent information as to how you can get your distinction. for writing effective essays. In fact, they will learn how to write effective essays on the novel Animal Farm. Stay tuned as I present the formula. So knowing the themes that are explored in the novel is a first step really in unlocking how to write effective essays. You will find that the questions that are given for CSEC um, English B are actually centered around the themes that were discussed in your class. And so once you have a grasp of the themes, you will be able to answer any given essay question. So what are the themes that were explored? Do you know them? It is often reported that many persons fail examination as a result of misinterpretation. Now, in order to prevent misinterpretation of a given question, it is important that students read carefully the question and note the key terms in the given questions so as to avoid misinterpretation. In addition to that, they will have to paraphrase the question that is given. In that, by that we mean, what is the question asking or requesting of me? Okay, what am I expected to do? And once students have having a grasp or an understanding of what is expected of them, then chances are they will, of course, write an effective essay. Okay, so what I would tell my students often is that they need to read, interpret, understand, and then write. In this question that is given on the puzzle animal farm, the question reads, Deception is one of the themes explored in the novel Animal Farm. Comment on how the writer George Orwell explores this theme by stating clearly who was deceptive and why, and the outcome or consequence of such deception. Discuss three lessons that students may learn from the exploration of this theme. Now, having read the question, you would have seen that there are several things that are required of the students. Can you identify the three things that students are required to do based on this essay? Let's see if you're able to do so. on how the writer George Orwell explores this theme by stating clearly who was deceptive and why. Did you get that? If you did, go ahead and pat yourself on the shoulders. Students are required to comment on the outcome or consequences of such deception. Did you get that? If you did, go ahead and pat yourself on the shoulders as well. So the first the question. So we realized that this question had asked us to do three things. Comment on how the writer George Orwell explores the theme of deception by stating clearly who was deceptive and why. Comment on the outcome or consequences of such deception. And of course, discuss three lessons that students may learn from the exploration of this 
theme. And as was discussed in previous um, presentation, we know that CXC in, in marking your essay is eight for the first aspect of it, eight again for the second aspect of it, and then nine for the third aspect. So it's eight plus eight plus nine, and that will give you your 25 marks. And of course, your 10 marks now is for, um, the additional 10 marks is for ex explore, expression and of course, organization, okay? So now that we have unlocked the question, let's see if we can just jump right in and understand the other aspect that is required of us. should have the following an introduction a body and a conclusion now the introduction is very vital to their essay to write in an effective essay in that the introduction sets the pace and as a result of this the introduction should have the following features an attention getter or some person some books refer to it as the hook or a reference to the text and of course a synopsis of the main points that will be discussed in the your essay all right so let's see what else is needed in order for you to write an effective essay? Think that students select the an appropriate or suitable attention getter or hook, right? Not all attention getters are relevant to a specific question. Hence, it is vital that students select an attention getter that is in keeping, that that is appropriate or suited for the given question, right? in the novel Animal Farm, commenting how the writer George Orwell explores this theme by stating clearly who is deceptive and why and the outcome or consequences of such deception, discuss three lessons that students may learn from the exploration of this theme. We realize that there are some attention getters that are more, more suited than others. So yes, you may want to define the, um, the term deception, okay? Right? You may want to give an analogy, right? You may want to use a statement of fact or a statement of an opinion. You may even want to use an allusion, which is a reference, okay? Good. And so some of the inappropriate attention getter for this type of question would have been the use of statistical data, the use of research or studies, right? So that would not be relevant here, but you can start with a rhetorical question. Right, you can start, of course, with a statement of fact or opinion, in, or you could even use this statement that is given. Indeed, deception is one of the themes explored in the novel Animal Farm, and then you jump right in. Okay, All right. reads, deception which is known as the act of causing someone to accept what is false as being true is portrayed in the novel Animal Farm. Several characters within this prose fiction were deceptive. However, they had varying motives for being manipulative. The writer George Orwell addresses this serious issue in a rather witty and humorous manner in order to teach readers some pertinent lessons. How would you rate this sample introduction? Rate it out of 10 and share your ratings in the comment section below. So the attention getter here that is used is a definition. So it's stated what deception is, and that's highlighted in, of course, green. And then we have the reference, of course, to the, the novel Animal Farm. And then, of course, they, they, uh, um, it tells us also the 
what will be discussed in the body of the essay. Several characters were deceptive and they had various motives. So we know that in the body of the essay, there will be an expansion on that idea, the various motive of these characters, right? And then we'll also now tell the consequences of such deception. And then of course, the lessons that will be learned will also be elaborated on. So when you look at the this sample introduction and we look at what the introduction should entail for an effective essay, you can see that this sample introduction met the criteria. Sample. It is quite apparent that the educated animals, such as the pigs, use their intelligence to manipulate and exploit the other animals on Manor Farm. Squealer and Napoleon were two deceptive pigs on the farm. Squealer, who was Napoleon's most loyal and devoted comrade, deceived the other animals by using his charismatic and persuasive personality to convince the animals that Napoleon had their best interests at heart. Being Napoleon's spokesman, Squealer had tricked the animals by convincing them that Napoleon had not altered the commandments when in actuality he did no animal should drink alcohol was now changed to no animal should drink alcohol in excess and no animal should sleep in a bed was now changed to no animal should sleep in a bed with sheets had the animals learned how to read they would not have been able they would have been able to figure out that squealer was manipulating them now you would discover that the sample body right had what should be there which is a development of the points so we realize that the second paragraph you would have stated who was um, manipulative or deceptive and you would have given reason for them being so and then you would have stated uh, of course the consequences of the manipulative behavior or deception right and you would have seen that there and of course you need to use evidence from the novel to support your points right and so you would have seen it being done here as well Orwell, in his exploration of the theme deception, has made us more conscious of the fact that deceptive people are everywhere, and so we must take the necessary precautions so that we do not fall prey to their deceptive webs. Remember that the conclusion is a summary of all that you have stated already, using other words. I trust this um, outline was presentation and outline was beneficial to you. If you want the entire essay, want to see the entire essay, please check out the link in the description box. And if you have found this presentation beneficial, remember to like, share, tell a friend and subscribe. God bless you. Christmas and a prosperous 2023 when it comes. God's richest blessings. All the best to you in your upcoming exams.